now all week we're looking at volunteer work and how all of us can make a big difference by giving just a little of our time. Well, every year a staggering 50,000 babies are born prematurely in the UK and 15,000 of them need intensive care. Well, former Atomic Kitten member or maybe current Atomic Kitten member, we'll talk about that in a moment, but Natasha Hamilton either way is here and she's been to Bristol to see how volunteers can help make the lives of premature babies that much better. This is the Neonatal Intensive Care Unit at Southmead Hospital in Bristol. It provides vital support for vulnerable newborn babies when they need it most. But as you can see, things could be better here, and that's where a band of dedicated volunteers and fundraisers help out. Luke and Donna know just what it's like for worried parents. Their twins stayed here for six weeks. Donna was only about 27 weeks through, um, so we weren't really expecting anything to happen. We weren't really prepared uh, for anything to happen at that stage. Um, but as it turned out, she went into early labour. I cried when I first came here because the, ha the hospital they were born in um, is only about a couple of years old and it's nice and clean and shiny and everything is just reassuringly gleaming. Um, and you come in here and um, you know, obviously it's going to be clean, but it's, just, it's not the same, the paint's peeling, the conditions are cramped. There's no privacy. Of course, it does take a special kind of person to help babies through their crucial first days. Staff with tons of expertise, such as Janet here. Hi, Janet. Hi, Tash. <laughs> so, um, it's very cramped here, isn't it? It is. It's very cramped. I mean, you've just been in the intensive care room um, with James, and you can see the limited space um, yeah. next to the incubators. Good afternoon, Tiny Lives Campaign. Mandy speaking. Whether it's dressing up in nappies or simply stuffing envelopes, volunteers do make things happen here and with loads of locally based campaigns throughout the country. We need to raise £1.5 million by March next year. They're desperately important. We couldn't do the job that we do without these volunteers on hand. Any amount of time you can offer is time well spent. In return, you'll be making a big difference. And here in Bristol, you'll be helping to save Tiny Lives too. Joins us now. It sounds an obvious thing to say, but they are so small, aren't they? Oh, you know, you, you see like pictures in magazines and stuff, but when they're actually there up close, you know, it hits home and it is, you know, it's, it's really touching when you just see them and they're so That's tiny. Little. I mean, literally, you know, they're bigger than my hand. They? I know, amazing. Actually, we've got some nappies here. This is a, a nappy for just this will bring it home. I find it actually very sweet, so cute. You, your newborn daddy. We've got a weepy over It doesn't last very long either. Uh, I know. Well, there's, there's a normal newborn, and there is a premature baby newborn nappy. And as you were saying, you know, uh, even these swamp them, yeah. don't they? Yeah, on some of the babies, they're, they're massive. So sweet and, and very, very moving. Now, you're a mum yourself. You've got two little ones. Yeah. Um, did that sort of help, do you think, to, to bring home what, what the parents and, and go through with something like this? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I've got a five-month-old at the moment, but at 22 weeks, I sort of I had a bit of a skin and had contractions and... You know, oh. I had to like go into hospital and they gave me steroids and stuff, you know, to bring on the baby's growth in case anything did happen. So, you know, it, it you know, the fear that I felt inside of, you know, having a baby so early, you know, it was there, I felt it. So, you know, for, you know, parents who are actually going through it, it's such a worrying time. Mm. And the last thing you need is to be in a hospital in such cramped conditions. I mean, around each of the incubators in um, Bristol, there's like only two um, square metres and this, you know, there's supposed to be 11 square metres. Wow. So it is so cramped. Mm. And, you know, and that's like, difficult um, uh, and also could potentially be difficult in terms of saving lives because it's brilliant, isn't it, what medicine can do now in terms yeah. of looking after things, but they need the room to get a central kit in. If yeah, I mean, all on. the nurses that work there do an absolutely amazing job. You know, the conditions that they're working in it is cramped, mm. you know, but they're saving lives all the time. But, you know, we're, we're trying to raise £1.5 million so they can, you know, redo the whole unit up, you know, have extra um, incubator space, just mm. make it bigger and just nicer so that parents can, you know, at that crucial time, have good bonding. Mm. So yeah. what can people do if they want to I mean, involved? the tiny lives campaign just wants like people to go out and volunteer they can do absolutely anything you know there's there's phone numbers there they can send in donations and you know it is essential that people you know try and raise this money because a lot of the equipment on that unit is actually mm. provided through donations mm. it's not actually supplied by the nhs so it wasn't for you know everyone all the people going out there 
and raising this money, you know, they'd have nothing. So it is so vital that Fantastic. people get out there and just do whatever they can. OK, we want to hear about what you're up to. I know you're doing a bit of your music on your own as well and hear about Atomic Kid, but you're back later to talk some more, aren't you? So we yeah. can talk about all of that then. But